हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस यूनिट सेल एंड इट्स टाइप्स लेट्स बिगेन व्हेन वी आर डीलिंग विथ क्रिस्टलाइन सॉलिड्स द आटम्स आर अरेंज इन ए रेगुलर एंड ऑडरली मैनर hence it is convenient to express the structure of a crystal by taking only a small group of atoms to show the arrangements of atoms in that particular crystal that small group of atoms located in a cell and that cell is known as unit cell so a unit cell is the smallest repeating unit in space lattice which when repeated over and over again results in a crystal of given substance if these are the lattice points the lattice points are in two dimension the smallest repeating unit let i choose that one the smallest repeating unit if these smallest unit again repeated again repeated finally we have the crystal structure this is the unit cell in three dimension in three dimension three dimension these are x y z that length a that length b that length let's see on the sides are oa ob oc and the angles alpha beta and gamma on that basis of a b c and alpha beta and gamma these are the parameters which describe what will be the shape and size of that given unit cell this we prefer in case of 2d but that one in 3d in three dimension the unit cell that unit cell the smallest pattern in it of the arrangement of atoms in a crystal form which is the whole crystal can be built of by translating it the unit cells parallel to itself in the direction of the edges of equal distances on the length of that of edges now we categorize the unit cell 
types of unit cell one is primitive primitive shell what is primitive this is the smallest unit cell in volume it is the smallest unit cell in volume constructed constructed by the lattice points are only at the corners of that unit cell if you choose the lattice points like this these are the lattice point in two dimension in 2d in two dimension these are the lattice point so if we choose the lattice points as the corners these are the lattice point at the corners then that kind of unit cell is known as primitive cell in three dimension in 3d in three dimension we examine it in 3d in that of corners there will be the lattice points this is the primitive cell and we can express that primitive cell in terms of translation vector in translation vector in translation vector t vector if we choose n1 a vector n2 b vector plus n3 c vector t be the translation vector a vector b vector c vector are the lattice vectors n1 n2 n3 are integers if n1 n2 n3 here if n1 n2 n3 are integral values integral values then translation vectors t vector is known as primitive translational vector primitive translational vector primitive translational vector another type of unit cell non primitive non primitive non primitive shell just is opposite means the lattice points are uh, not necessary are the corners inside that of unit cell there will be the lattice point if a unit cell a unit cell 
कंसिस्ट ऑफ मोर देन वन एटम मोर देन वन एटम एंड the lattice points not exactly in the corners but also within it then it will be called as called as non primitive shell non primitive shell they look called as non primitive shell okay these are the lattice points that we take in two dimensional figure in 2d if i taking like this so these are the lattice points at the corners and also lattice point within this then that kind of shell is known as non primitive in three dimension in 3d we understand it if we draw the unit cell at the corners there will be the in there, there will be the lattices and also the lattice points within that then that kind of unit cell is known as non primitive shell in that way we classified unit cell which is the smallest repeating unit as primitive cell the lattice pointed points are at the corners non primitive shell the lattice points are not exactly at corners but also some of within this in same thing in translation vector in translation vector in translation vector t vector if we get n1 a n2 b vector plus n3 c vector here here n1 n2 n3 are fractions are fractions then it is called it is called non primitive translation vector non primitive translational vector translational vector non primitive translational vector as n1 n2 n3 are fractions and the lattice points according to the presence of that of lattice points the non primitive shells are classified as either body centered face centered or edge centers on the basis of the presence of lattice points now a special kind of primitive cell we have to study that is known as wagner seeds primitive cell wagner and seeds two scientist they saw that 
a special type of primitive cell which is known as Wegener's cell primitive cell according to them when the lattice points are not at the corners of a primitive cell we know the definition of uh, primitive shell the lattice points are at the corners of that of primitive shell but if these points are not at the corners then wegener c cell is the another way of choosing the primitive cell what is that of wegener c cell the wegener c cell of a lattice point is defined as the volume which encloses all points in space which are closer to particular lattice points than in any other so how we have to draw that wegener c cell method to draw wegener c cell these are the lattice point let we choose lattice point in two dimension lattice point in two dimension first draw the lines to connect a given lattice point to all nearby lattice points first we choose the central lattice point that one be the central lattice point then its nearby lattice points these are the nearby lattice points draw the lines to connect a given lattice point to all the nearby latin lattice point let me draw it okay next thing draw the new lines passing through the midpoints and perpendicular these lines in two dimensions or planes in three dimensions we have to draw the perpendicular bisectors these lines draw the perpendicular bi bisector first this line we have to draw the perpendicular bisector next taking that line again draw that perpendicular bisector taking that line draw the perpendicular bisector taking that line perpendicular bisector that line here is the perpendicular bisector next taking that line this line again that line so finally the smallest area in the two dimensions or if we consider it in three dimension that is the volume the smallest volume enclosed by the normal lines or planes are called wegener c cell within that of red lines the area in two dimension or the volume in three dimension is known as wegener c primitive cell primitive shell here the lattice points are not within that of corners but we can choose that primitive shell by taking a method which is the primitive shell of kind wegener c primitive shell so with the help of this video lecture we understand the concept of unit cell types as primitive cell non primitive cell the special kind of primitive cell that is wegener c primitive cell and we draw that wegener c primitive cell by taking the lattice points in two dimensions if we draw in three dimensions then that one is the smallest volume as it is drawn in that of two dimension that area is the smallest area so with this useful and informative notes let me wind up this session thank you